making our way through. I turned on because, you know, we're at the beginning of this. We're going in country and you're inland. I assume we're going to get pretty distracted when we start heading back out toward the water and wanting to run down the dunes. But right now, this really does remind me of Indiana dunes as it should. Uh, so I wanted to bring up the topic of snowshoeing. Warren Dunes State Park is open year round. They've got camping. So we didn't check out the camping here ahead of time. It is Saturday night, so, or it would have been last night. I pretty Probably would have been booked. Pretty strong assumption it's booked, but uh, I want to make a note to ourselves for snowshoeing. Yeah, this would be a great snowshoeing spot based yeah. on the success we had at Indiana Dunes State Park. Right. This is what a four mile deal, so. That would be. That's well, it can't be much harder than the snowshoeing we did along the lakeshore. Right. Well, we're going to have some of that on the way back. But Oh, yeah, you're right. So we'll see, maybe. But I do like the up and down. We're, we're making some altitude gains. Aside from snowshoeing, if you're preparing for a hiking adventure, both Indiana Dunes and Warren here, are going to give you altitude changes so it might be a good warm-up do a couple of laps of this four miler and get yourself into shape what do you think about that right say it again i'm sorry i spaced out oh i was saying this is uh, because of the altitude gains if you're going on a, a hiking adventure into the mountains this would be this would be a good practice area yeah i would say so definitely the trees are, man, that is a tree full of stuff. Yeah, there's a, there a whole environment in there. There's a lot of dens that that tree supported. <laughs> uh, I will make another comment. I'm glad we're doing this today before the locusts come out. Oh, yeah. We're going to finish this book before the locusts. Perfect timing, like yeah. we do. Yeah. Maybe it'll ward off the plague. But you can see if you're spinning around, uh, this is pretty jungly. The dunes are going up and down. I mean, this is serious stuff. Pretty awesome. Refer back to all of our Indiana dunes discussion about glaciation and the residue left behind from the retreat of the glaciers. That's what this is. And all the sand available for all the cement. <laughs> There's a lot of sand here. There is a lot of sand. A lot of up and down, man. I hope we can see a map like we did at the Three Dunes that tells the different glacial periods and the different uh, sizes of the lake at that time. Oh, that's going to be a good hill up there. Okay, maybe we'll do another film up there. Talk 